Hey guys, Mohan Popper here with another video and this video is all about the financial opportunities when you buy a business and how you can make the most out of it. People think you only make money from a business when owning a business with like taking an income and a salary, which is not true at all. I'm going to show you all the different ways to take money out of a business when you buy it and when you own it and I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, remember this channel is all about buying businesses, growing businesses and how to ideally build some kind of portfolio of businesses that you have someone running each of those businesses for you. You have a general manager running those businesses for you. And the coolest thing is you can buy those businesses in, even if you have uh, you don't have much experience or, or capital. If you want to hear, hear more about that, just subscribe and comment below and hit the notification button to, to hear about more of the videos that's, that's going to come soon. So the question is, how do we make money when we buy businesses? So to begin with, every business that you own, I just want to make it clear and, and completely understood the fact that owning a business is going to take a lot of your time, a lot of your if investment, and even in when I'm saying investment, it can be your money and it can be your time and it can be even just your emotional investment because those businesses or even just owning a business, one business, it's literally like having a baby. I, I, I don't have kids, but it feels to me the same. Like it's literally something that's in your head 24 seven. This is like your life. You're fully in there. You're immersed in that. That's literally all you think about 24 seven. So if you can't be committed to the idea that, Hey, this is my life. I'm owning a business. I'm 24 seven into it. Uh, maybe owning a business isn't for you, but if you're okay with that, you're okay with the idea of taking responsibility about 100% of the things in your life, then I think this is the best thing to, to be part of. So how do we make money? Let's, let's take an example, an existing business. Let's say we want to buy a business doing 10 million a year in revenues. Let's say that that business is doing 2.5 million in EBITDA in uh, pre-tax profit. That means that as a buyer, and if you have investors, they are involved in that as well you're going to earn 25% in annual return on that investment. Now compare that to investment in any different cycle. So let's say, assume you're investing in like the stock market. The chances of you getting those numbers are really, really low. Like if you're getting 8% in an investment opportunity, when you invest in the stock market, you're pretty much doing amazingly well. So first of all, just the opportunities in investing in small private businesses. And when I'm saying small, I'm talking businesses doing about 1 million a year in sales. And small, you can say small businesses are even up to 50 million a year. Obviously, everyone have their own different idea of what is a small business and their own, I guess, um, titles for what is a business. But at least the companies we're looking for are businesses doing between 1 to 10 million a year in sales mostly. So those are definitely considered small businesses but the investment returns that an investor can get back from those businesses are just unlike anything out there in my opinion i mean just com compare that like combine the stability and the return i think there's nothing out there like that yes in real estate maybe you have in some kind of deals more stability but it's really really hard to get to those kind of numbers in real estate in small businesses it's pretty much um, you can get those deals all over the place you can get you can easily get businesses at four times EBITDA and get those returns so i mean in my opinion it's an amazing opportunity so the investment for your investors and yourself is just amazingly well and that's just one way to get some money back so when you invest capital as an investor you can take money out um, just from returns on those businesses and i'm going to show you how you can take that money out and so like i said taking income or a salary from a business if you own it is just one way so uh, I just mentioned I just mentioned salary. Let's start with that. If you own a good business, um, like I said, if you own like a 10 million year business, it's very, very doable or even easily for you to take a six figure salary out of that business if you own that business. And many times, even if you're not involved in the day to day. So that's a really nice salary to begin with as someone who's just absent the owner. You're not even there in the business and you're taking that salary and I mean, that's a salary that you need to probably be at a very high C level executive position in a company to, to take those kind of income. So yeah, to begin with, that's a first way to take money off out of a business and I guess build your wealth that way. So first thing is just taking salary out of the business. Second way is just equity that you own in the business. If you buy a business, obviously, if you're not using 100% of an investor money and you're not getting any equity, there's, there's no reason for you to 
to buy a business with having no equity in the business. So even if you're raising most of the capital from private individuals, you should have at least 20, 25% in that deal. If you raise all that capital from debt or asset-based lenders, people basically, you can raise capital on a debt, debt base, you can own 100% of the deal. And when you own equity in a business, that's a huge, that's pretty much the best opportunity to build wealth. Um, as one, of, I remember who, who said it, but the best way to build wealth is by having equity in multiple transactions. When you have equity, that's equity that you can sell eventually down the road after you grow the business. And that's the best way for you to take money out in, in order to build your wealth as much as possible. In order to build wealth, you ideally want to have like, like peaks in capital experiences. And the best way to do it is to have equity in a deal and just sell it. Third way to take money out of the business is just dividends. So every year, if you grow the business and there's capital in the business, it's pretty much a decision that you need to make with the other shareholders of if you're going to take dividends out of the business and just take something home, or if you want to keep the capital in the business in order to grow it further and maybe to eventually sell it. Now, whenever you take money out of the business, a good rule of thumb is to think that every dollar that you take out of the business nowadays can be three or five or even seven plus dollars that you can take at exit. So if you don't really in a rush to take that money out of the business now, sometimes you don't need to do it because that's money that you then need to justify that wasn't, that. let's say to, to put it in a, in a simple way, every dollar you take out can be three dollars you're gonna take down the road when you sell a business. So you really need to make those, those decisions, especially with your accountants to figure out if that's money gonna be involved in the sale process. I can get into that more because when you sell a business, you need to justify what kind of profit there's in a business and based on that, you justify the sales price. So if you're taking capital that you can then justify, people won't pay on that. So in a nutshell, every capital you take out as a dividend, think twice before you do that because that's capital that can be then down the road worth much more. And the fourth way to take capital out of the deal is just when doing the deal, when closing the deal. So when you buy a business, you raise capital from many financial partners and many times there's enough capital for you or basically all the shareholders for you to take out of the deal. And it's very common for shareholders to take money out of the deal at completion. So you raise enough capital, obviously you want some capital to go into the business for working capital to grow the business, but then there's a chunk of capital that you can take out as some kind of a fee for yourself for doing the work on closing the deal. So that's the fourth way, just taking capital at completion when buying the business. Now, all those four different ways, those are ways to take capital out of the business, assuming that you don't even grow the business. This is what I like about it. You can buy a business and make so much money before even assuming or thinking about the idea that you grow a business. So just think about the fact that if you're buying a million dollar business, multi-million dollar business, you can take a lot of money and build a wealth, a very uh, basically generations worth of wealth with just few deals within a very short period of time. And that's before you even grew the business. So just assume you're growing the business for like in like five, 10% a year. I mean, your equity in the deal, first of all, gonna be worth much more. The dividends that you can take out can grow much more. I mean, you can give yourself a better salary. So all those four different ways can pretty much increase as long as you increase the business over time. So the coolest thing is you can pretty much literally make millions of dollars from just one deal if you're taking money out from all those four different ways. And for most people that I know, one deal can change their life. So that's why I tell people, hey, if you really want to get into this space, be really committed. Just tell to yourself, hey, I'm fully committed to do those things, to buy businesses, because I know that one deal can change my life and it's completely worth it. Even if it's going to take you a few months or even a year to buy just one business, in my opinion, it's completely worth it. And just to add and say, a few of you interacted with me and asked me if it's possible to work with me on deals and for me to help them. So if you want to hear more about that, just see in the description below. Uh, me and my team, my company, we're pretty much happy to let people, just few individuals watch our back while we do deals and then learn the process that way with just them giving us a little bit of help with finding deals that are good for us to buy. So if you want to learn more about that, just see in the description below and get in touch with us.
Oh, and yeah, subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. Comment below, let me know what you think. Engage with, the, engage with me with the videos because the more you engage, the more I'm able to grow the channel and the more uh, it's motivating me to do more videos. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about this video or others. And let's, let's continue with the video. Now, all those things that I just said about how to take money, that's obviously, I'm already assuming the fact that you're buying a business at a fair price. And that's definitely doable. Like just look at the stats out there. Most businesses are being sold for like two times EBITDA or multiples their pre-tax profit. So just by understanding that, you just can see how many good opportunities out there to buy good businesses. Now, many people ask me, hey, why would someone sell a business that is good and making good money? Like, why would someone do that if you have a good business that's already making money? And there are tons of reasons for that. So the reason for someone to sell a business anywhere from someone getting divorced, health issues, um, family issues, someone want to move to a different place or just any personal or lifestyle situations. It's like, it's like you'll ask me, hey, why would someone sell a house they had? Maybe they just want to move to a different house. Like I had a business that we looked into. The only reason the owner wanted to sell the business because he had an existing business that is already started from the side on the side that was growing so fast. And pretty much what they, what he told me is, Hey, every second or every minute that I'm putting my mind, he didn't even do the day to work, day to day work into that business, but he told me, Hey, every second that I'm putting my mind into that business is taking me away from a business that is growing so fast in the technology space. And I just have to get rid of it. I want to sell it to someone I can trust who will take over that business and take care of the employees who have salaries. So I want to make sure they're fine. So this is just one opportunity, one reason for you to buy a business at a really fair price, just because the owner really needs to sell the business. It's like literally like real estate, like people sell their, their houses because they get divorced and health issues and, and whatever reasons. And many times business owners that we're looking into, they're, they're basically baby boomers, people who are looking to retire and their children are not people who want to take over those kind of businesses. Those businesses many times just are just boring businesses. Or for example, if you're looking into, let's say someone owning engineering businesses, many times their children doing complete, something completely else. So like a children, their children is probably many times like a doctor or something like that, or a musician, musician, and they don't want to own an engineering business. So for those reasons and other, the owner need to do something with that business eventually. He either need to shut it down and go to his retirement or he'll sell that business for a fair price. So he'll have more capital in his pocket. Plus, he'll make sure his employees are safe and can continue to, to make their living in a fair way. And yeah, you know, I, I really wish more people knew that it's even possible. I mean, and it's not, I'm, 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 I guess it's fair because most people who I know who are doing those things, buying businesses, they don't talk about it because they're busy buying businesses. For me, I found this, this niche of helping people to learn about this space, plus have the opportunity to just win, I guess just have win-win scenarios because I know that the more I put myself out there, the more deals I'll have and the more deals I'll be able to do. So I'm, I'm fully transparent and open about what I'm doing because I know in the end of the day, I'll be able to do more deals that way and just help more people at the same time. So it's a win-win for everyone. And I'm, I'm really proud of that. I mean, most people out there just go out there to start businesses if they want to be, uh, I guess, responsible for their own and just entre entrepreneur in general and a business owner. And the reason that they start businesses is just because 99% of the books, courses, seminars out there are about starting businesses. So whatever they see, that's what they go for. And I'm just trying to put myself out there with just a few more people that I know who show people that it's possible to buy an existing business. And yeah, I'm trying to, to expand it. And I'll appreciate if you'll help me expand that and, and put, put it out there. So if you want to own a business, just share this video and just maybe even comment below with, uh, or just send this video to a friend who you potentially want to own a business together. I think it's really cool to own business with someone you like. So if you have a friend that you think that would love to own a business with you, definitely let, let him know about this channel and, and subscribe and, and share it with everyone you can. So yeah, to summarize, I think owning a business is the best thing out there. It will give you the best professional and lifestyle independence out there. Um, I don't know anything else that can give you so much, I guess, uh, freedom and uh, just professional independence, I think is the right, right thing to describe it and just the growth opportunity. You can grow as a person and just with your wealth by working for someone else. I don't care what you're doing. Yes, obviously you can make good money working for someone else, but combine that with the freedom that you can have when owning a business, it's just, you can't even compare that. 
and I think it's fun. I wish more people knew about it. So if you like this content, definitely subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, like this video and let me know um, what other videos or questions you have. I'd love to create more videos based on your questions. Even if I, I, I didn't reply to all of your comments yet, I'll either reply to them in the comments or I'll just reply to them with new videos. So yeah, definitely comment below, let me know what you think and I'll, I'll see you soon.